a shave and the shave soap that's natural and organic coming up next. Hi YouTubers and watch haters everywhere, it's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in our video, and thanks so much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Well, there have been some viewers on this channel who wanted to see natural and organic shaving soaps, and uh, I did find a source for them. Uh, Chagrin Valley Soap and Staff Company. I reviewed their Rugged Spice shave soap. It had a really nice shave with it. And yes, these shave soaps and all their soaps are natural and organic. Matter of fact, uh, one of the things I buy from them is their goat milk oatmeal soap. Uh, I think I may have mentioned in a previous Monday morning mailbag that I'm a natural soap convert when it comes to showering. And uh, if I'm not using Dr. Browner's, I'm using this one. Really, really terrific. Uh, and here in Northeast Ohio, uh, it's available at Whole Foods, so if you're in Northeast Ohio, Whole Foods carries their line of uh, bath soaps, that sort of thing. But if you want their shave soaps, they got a terrific online store. So we're going to have a shave with that. Now in the past, as I mentioned, I have shaved with their Rugged Spice, and I have it right here. I've had a few shaves with it lately. I put it in my shave bowl, shaving bowl right here, and it made a really, really nice lather. I finished it off with... Um, their um, Woodland Breeze Shave Balm. This is terrific stuff and it has a really wonderful outdoors uh, woodsy kind of a scent. Really like this a lot. But this time around it's going to be their Lemon Lime Shave Soap and I'm going to follow it up with their Lemon Lime Shave Balm right here. So yeah, that's what we got slated, but they sell a lot of other neat items uh, for wet shavers. So if you're looking for uh, like a little set, a little gift set for wet shavers, they have it. Uh, you know, because I've got this in this bowl here and I want to be able to identify what I'm using from uh, the Shrigan Valley Soap and Sav Company, they offer a wooden shaving bowl. It comes in a nice little bag like this. Let me open it up for you. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, <laughs> it's terrific. Look at that. It says, Chagrin Valley Soap and Salve Company, and uh, it is the absolute perfect size for a puck of their shave soap. Let me show you. So let's open this guy up right here. There's the lemon lime shave soap right there. Boy, that's a, be that's a beautiful lemon lime scent. I love that. Okay, and there we are right there. Set that in there. And that fits in there very, very nicely. You know what, we're going to get some hot water. I'm going to put some hot water on this, kind of get things going a little bit. Okay. And then I'm going to set this aside. All right, very, very good. Now, they also sell a shaving brush. This is really, really terrific. Isn't that beautiful? That is a really nice shaving brush. Very unique from any other shaving brush I've seen on the market. And this is uh, made from olive wood. The handle is olive wood and it has a synthetic knot uh, to it. This is a hand-turned wood shaving brush. The brush handle is made from olive wood, a hard, dense, strong wood, highly prized for its exceptional grain pattern, also called figure. Uh, the heartwood is a nutty brown marbled with veins of darker tones. Uh, it's terrific. All the information is right here. I'll let you get a screenshot of that so you can read more about it. Okay, very, very good. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to soak this just a little bit. I'm going to put some warm water in the sink and I'm going to soak it a little bit. I'm not going to soak the handle uh, because it says here that um, the, high oil, the high oil content of the wood helps repel water. A hand buffing brings out the natural oil to create a simple natural finish. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just soak this a little bit uh, right before the uh, right before the shave. But I am gonna put some water in the sink to kind of get things going. So they sell the brush, uh, the soap, and the bowl as a gift set, uh, which is really a neat gift for the wet shaver in your life. They also sell these. These are uh, 
hand towels for uh, shaving hand towels. How about that? These are made from 100% organic cotton and they're made in the United States. And it's got that nice little shave brush monogram on there. Yeah, I got a couple of these. Very nice. And uh, I've already laundered them uh, and uh, they're ready to go. So we're just going to hang this one up right away like that. We're going to use that one. We'll set this other one aside here. And I got that hot water uh, kind of soaking things up. Uh, the package came very, very nicely wrapped and packaged and that sort of thing and was packed by Kate. So my thanks to Kate over at Chagrin Valley Soap and Sap Company. They did a really nice job. Also, the brush also comes in one of these bags as well. Uh, I just all, I already removed it and I gave it a little quick wash, that sort of thing, before using it. It came in this bag with this informational card and uh, just a really, really neat uh, and different kind of uh, brush and bowl for the wet shaver. So if you have a wet shaver in your life, or maybe even a gift for yourself, really, really nice option. I'll have a link below. So if you want to visit them online, you can get uh, you can get you can get this for yourself or the wet shaver in your life. Now um, the back of the package here, and get a screenshot of that so you can see that. Uh, it says uh, put an end to razor burn, bumps, and dry itchy skin, enriched with shea and cocoa butters. Bentonite clay provides razor glide for a clean, close shave. Citrus essential oils help balance natural skin oils. Lavender tones the skin and eases inflammation. It's a round bar, two and three, two and three eighths inch diameter. Great for shaving mugs. Well, they got a great uh, shaving bowl here. So what's nice is I'll always know that it's Chagrin Valley soap. Uh, that's in that uh, shaving bowl there. So that's that's really neat. I like that a lot. So we're also going to finish it off with uh, obviously uh, an alum block after the shave and then I'm going to use the uh, the shave balm for upstairs and also on the face. We're going to use for my razor, I'm going to use my Edwin Jagger, Edwin Jagger Kelvin razor. This is really nice exclusive to uh, Amazon.com. It's a really, really nice razor. It's a short handled Edwin Jagger razor, but it's got that same great Edwin Jagger razor head on it. Also going to use a Lord Platinum razor blade. That's what I'm going to use as my razor blade. Like these a lot. Mild, smooth, yet sharp. Like them a lot. So let's just put all this right here like this so you can see what's going on. There's my razor blade. Putting it on my cap there. Base plate goes there. Here's my handle. Yes, it's a short handled razor. Um, I can show you what it looks like next to the standard Edwin Jagger DE89L, give you an idea. And here it is next to a Mercur HD34C. In case you have one of those, you can see that it's about the same size. Maybe a little bit lighter in weight than the Mercur. 34C. All right, so that's got everything going. We're going to take this water and we're just going to dump it in that sink there. I'm going to wet the face and we're going to get to the shave. Okay, so this brush here, I'm just going to, I'm just going to just swirl in the sink there a little bit to get it wet. Only because I don't want to wet this handle for a long period of time because it's olive wood. It looks like it repels water, but I would rather just soak it this way. All right, that's got it. I'm going to wring that out a little bit like that. And then we're going to go ahead and load this guy right here. All right, the soap's moving around a little bit in the bowl, but that's to be expected. But next time around, it'll probably sit a little more securely. Like that. Okay, here we go. Ah, that's okay. You can see it moving around there a little bit. That's all right. Dancing around there a little bit. That seems to be a pretty good load. Let's see what we got here. You can always go back in and get some more. Nice little brush. Nice soft knot. Again, all natural ingredients, organic ingredients. 
So if you're looking for something because your skin is overly sensitive and you don't want to use anything that is going to be, uh, well, you know, if you don't want to use anything that's commercial because of uh, certain ingredients that might be giving your skin a hard time, check this out. I'm going to just going to dip this in some water and maybe do a little more brush load here. Get that going a little bit. Ah, there we go. Just needs a little more water. There we go. You're not going to get a big Santa beard kind of lather. You're going to get a nice, light, frothy lather. But this lemon lime scent is wonderful. If you like that kind of citrus lemon lime scent, this is definitely the soap to get. Okay. Okay, very light, very light, but as I recall from the Rugged Spice that I've used, the Rugged Spice Shave Shelf, this is very, very slick. Gives you a nice slick lather. All right, just going to heat the razor up, swirl it a little bit, bring it to temperature. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Oh yeah, that's nice, really nice glide. Really, much like a super slick. No tugging, no pulling. And you can see it's dissipating a little bit, but there is some slickness there. Nice slickness. Really nice. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. That was a nice first pass. <laughs> that was very nice. Let's see how much we got here. Nice brush. Not the, you know, the knob is not overly large. It's not overly small. It seems to be a nice size. Very soft. Giving me a lot of, uh, a lot of good action. Makes a nice lather. But it is a nice soft synthetic brush. And that added water uh, allows a lather to come out again. And again, it's not going to be a thick, thick kind of a lather. It's going to be a light Oh, frothy, foamy kind of lather. But there's going to be a lot of slickness there. All right. All right, here we go with pass number two, east to west across the grain. This is usually my money pass. This will tell me whether or not my, my shave is complete after this pass. Given the blade, the razor, and the slickness of the soap, I think I might be done after two passes. I got about a day's worth of growth. And yeah, if you're wondering, there's no tallow in this product at all. This is all natural ingredients. I guess you can call it vegan. I mean, they listed the ingredients on the box, right? Bentonite clay. Bentonite clay, citrus essential oils, lavender, you know, some other shea butters in there, shea and uh, what else do they have in here? Organic, made with organic coconut oil, avocado oil, and coconut milk. So there you go. I'm going to put this a little bit right there because it dissipated. Oh, there's a 
I'm talking here. Just want to make sure there's enough slickness there. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. I, that, I'm done. That's that, I'm good for the office, but you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just dip this brush in here and just load a little more like this and just see if we can get a little more here and I think that I think the reason why I'm reloading the brush a little bit is because of a brand new puck I think if you you when, when you use it the the rugged spice I've used over and over and over again I don't have to do that but I do have to do that uh, first time out well, this is a new puck uh, not a big deal but look just a little bit and look how much I have already again it's not a thick dense kind of Santa beard lather it's light and slick Okay, so we're going to go with the third pass, real quick third pass, uh, south to north against the grain, just real quickly, just pick up anything that I may have missed, I didn't miss much though. This has been a great shave. I mean, that's it. That was very, very light, very quick, very satisfying. Third pass done. Let's rinse. I mean, you could probably call that third pass more of a touch-up than a third pass. But, yeah, that's nice. Again, I got some kind of blemish here. I don't know what that is, but it's... Just, the razor just had a lot of nice glide over that, so it didn't irritate anything. Okay, so here are my two final rinses. Two final rinses. One warm, one cold. Here's my warm water rinse. A lot of slickness there that I needed to remove, no doubt about it. So here's my cold water rinse to close my pores. Okay, that's good. Now, Here's my clean, fresh, new towel waiting for me. That's nice and soft. Just throw that there like that. All right. Let's see what kind of uh, feedback we get here with our Allen block. Running under some cold water. Very, very nice. And since this is the dry dock system, I don't have to worry about uh, wiping it off. Just drop it in there like that, and the air circulates around it, and it'll dry out by itself, which is really, really terrific. Okay, so let's take a look at the brush. And again, it's just a, it's a, it's a foamy, light kind of a shaving cream. By the way, the uh, the animal block was nice and smooth. No stinging, no zinging. Just a really, really nice, nice shave. And I'm happy about that because I um, had a shave recently with the razor is a little too aggressive and I got a little bit of uh, a little bit of irritation. And that irritation 
has not come back from this shave, which speaks wonderfully about this shave soap and the uh, kind of result it's giving me. So yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Yeah, nice, nice shaving brush. And we're going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, buff it and blot it a little bit. Buff it and blot it. And look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's the, and that is an absolutely uh, beautiful handle. That really is. Look at the wood on that. Isn't that beautiful? That's really, really nice. Yeah, I like this. I like this brush a lot. It's so different from anything else on the market. That's why I like it. Olive wood. And it's got a nice, nice knot. So, uh, you know, I think this would be uh, great for a daily driver at home. And you, it's a nice size. If you want to travel with it, you could travel with it too. Very, very nice. Okay, so we're going to set that aside there. And I think that the uh, yellow block has done its thing. Okay, I'm going to wipe some of this off because I'm kind of like a... A hippo at a watering hole, you know. <laughs> so I have some of the uh, lemon lime shave balm here, but if I wanted to change things up, I could go with something that uh, I think would I would think also complements the lemon lime scent. And this is their other balm, which is mint mist. And uh, let's just take a yeah, it's got a nice mint kind of a yeah, very nice mint kind of a scent. Borders on peppermint a little bit. I mean, that's my my first impression. I could be wrong, but uh, really nice. But we are going to go ahead with the um, lemon lime shave balm here. Okay, so we're all we're going to do is just, you know, my experience with these is just you don't need a lot. So I'm just going to go in here and get a little bit like this. Okay, that's all I need right there. And what you do is you rub it in your hands, warm it up so it thins out. And then you apply it. And that's that's really, really nice. I'm going to use a little bit for upstairs here. Just a little bit like this. Again, this is more than enough for upstairs and the nice thing is uh, the I've, I've been using this on my head after some shaves because I got a little irritation up here from a shave that I, a head shave that I did the other day I was trying to use a little more aggressive razor than I should have you know that I always talk about using mild razors when I do a head shave they are more suited for me. My skin borders on a sensitive side, and that's true of the thin area of my scalp. And this stuff has really helped to calm the skin and knock down that irritation and heal things. Great shave. That's a really, really nice shave. No nicks, no cuts, no irritation. That's the important thing. No razor burn or anything. Now, yesterday, I had razor burn from a razor that was a little too aggressive. I was, I just kind of thought, it was my first shave with it, and I thought, you know what, it's probably a mild razor, and I just guessed wrong, and I got a little bit of razor burn. Uh, you know, the second shave, it went away. I mean, it went away. It wasn't anything major, but it went away. But I was hoping that this shave was going to be a nice, clean, slick shave, and it wouldn't bring that razor burn back, and it hasn't. That's what's so nice, and it's a great, great result. I got a nice, clean, close shave, and it's a wonderful post-shave feeling. It's unlike any other post-shave feeling out there. Uh, the balm is really nice and dense, and again, because of the coconut oil and other ingredients. It says a delicate, penetrating, minty shave balm that helps soothe and heal soon after shaving. And there's a lot of other ingredients in here. Maybe you can zoom in on that and get that label and see what's on there. A little difficult for me to read right now. 
but um, organic virgin coconut oil, organic beeswax, organic shea butter, uh, organic, well, jojoba oil, I think it says here, uh, rose hips, organic essential oil of lemon, bergamot, lime, lavender, eucalyptus. So, yeah, that's a really nice nice combination of things all natural and it really is a nice nice result and what's great is is that uh you know as i say if you know a wet shaver in your life or you want to get something for your own shaving get for your own shaving den this uh shaving bowl here is a really really nice addition with the um with a lid like that and the puck fits in there very very nicely and again uh terrific shaving brush so it gave me a really, really nice shave. So if you're looking for a natural organic shaving soap, uh, check out Chagrin Valley Soap and Sab Company. They have some really, really nice shaving products for men. And they have some nice gift bundles there as well. And of course, a great, great shaving towel. So there you go. That's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. It was a really, really nice shave. Hey, thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so we give you hell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the Executive Shaving Company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comments with George. Other cartoons, other videos like this, I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some really, really great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marksray. For all the products I review in this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very, very easily. Check out the Chagrin Valley Soap and Sap Company for some really, really nice natural organic shaving gear. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.